What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive VGC Double Battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon China Pearl. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing a Gen 1 favorite. I should say one of my Gen 1 favorites, Golem. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, the support has been crazy across the channel. All the subscribers, all the viewers, and anybody who just tunes in and likes up the videos, it really does go a long way. So huge shout out to all you guys. But let's get started here with today's team preview, starting off with the one and only Gom. Gom is such a cool Pokemon. Rock and ground typing. And for some reason, I never really knew that it was part ground typing. Was it always part ground typing? I always felt like it was just solid rock, especially in Gen 1. Maybe they changed it on down the road and I kind of just missed out on that uh, that information. But he's rock and ground typing. We gave it the leftovers as item and then it, as its ability, it is going to be rocking the sturdy ability. We'll showcase its EVs because, or yeah, its EVs because it is a new Pokemon that we're showcasing on the channel. We got it fully bulked out in HP and we got it fully bulked out on attack. So it's super, super bulky on the physical defense side. So we gave it some more HP to stay in the battle a bit longer and then obviously boost his attack to make him do as much damage as it possibly can move set for this guy it's going to be two stab moves we got eq and then we're rocking rock slide and then we got substitute and protect so we got those leftovers we can set up substitute kind of roll from there and then constantly get a stream of hp back at the end of every single turn second pokemon on the squad is going to be cresselia over here with the levitate ability that works really really well for our golem going into eqs it also has psychic ice beam calm mind and trick room to actually help our golem outspeed most pokemon Ability for this guy, like I already mentioned, is going to be Levitate, and then item for this Pokemon is going to be that Citrus Berry to give it more HP when it falls below half. Usually, I like to give Cresselia the leftovers, but I just felt like in this situation, Gom got a little bit more value out of the leftovers, so I just gave this Pokemon the nice little Citrus Berry to still get some sort of HP recovery. Third Pokemon on squad is going to be Scizor over here, and Scizor is an absolute beast, and it's actually really good in Trick Room as well. It's got Life Orb as his item, Technician obviously as its ability, and then Move Set for his Pokemon is straight up and fairly simple. It's Bullet Punch, X Scizor, Sword Stance, and Protect. Legit the best move set for any Scizor. Fourth Pokemon on squad is going to be our Weavile over here. And Weavile is going to be really good at helping setting up the Trick Room or helping setting up a Pokemon like Scizor or even the Gyarados on this team with a Dragon Dance or a Sword Stance. So I really do like uh, Weavile. It has Speed Control with Icy Wind. It's got Throat Trap for Stab, Ice Punch for Stab, and then it's got Fake Out for Flinches to get the turn started. Ability for this Pokemon is going to be Pickpocket, and then last but not least, the item it is holding is going to be that Focus Sash so that it does not get one tapped. Fifth Pokemon on squad is going to be this lovely little Togekiss over here with that Scope Lens as its ability because you guys know this thing's rocking Super Luck as its ability. So pair up Super Luck alongside with that Scope Lens, its critical hit ratio is through the roof and it's going to be able to do some crazy damage. Move set is fairly normal with Air Slash, Follow Me, Dazzling Gleam, and Protect. Final Pokemon on squad is going to be the BDSP MVP. I feel like this Pokemon is just incredible in BDSP. It is going to be Gyarados. Waterfall, Crunch, Dragon Dance, and Protect, and then we are Rock and Intimidate as his ability, and then we gave it the Lumberry as his item because, you know, Scissor's already holding that life orb. But guys, there's the team preview. This is the squad that we are rocking with. Let's hop to the Coliseum. Let's get some wins with this Golem team. First battle coming at you guys, and we're going up against a really cool team over here. He's rocking Ambipom, so we definitely have to watch out for Ambipom as a lead because it can fake out and it's really fast. Then he also has Kingdra, Crawdon, Gardevoir, Breloom, and Scizor. So I feel like he could pop Trick Room and bring Crawdon. Crawdon's a rather good Trick Room Pokemon, but we do have our lovely Golem to kind of get some work done onto it. Plus, Crawdon's physical attack, and we might be able to eat up a shot. Maybe, maybe not. You never really know. But he also has a Breloom for Spore, and that's kind of a problem for us. But who should I lead and how should I go into this? I could go Cress and Golem and just protect the Golem and kind of get after the Golem that way. Or I can go in with a uh, Weavile Fake Out and then get the Crest Golem. But I just feel like a Cresselian Golem is going to be play. We can bring Scissor in that back end. And then last but not least, do so I want Togekiss or Gyarados? I feel like Gyarados is going to thrive a little bit better. He's got the Dark moves. It has his Water Stab. Togekiss kind of just gets stumped on by uh, Scissor. But Togekiss can do some work up against Crawdon and Breed. It's tough. It is tough, but I, I'm going to lean towards Gyarados here just because he has a few physical attackers. I'm going to go Gyarados as our final Pokemon. We're going to lock it in. We're going to lock it down. And we're going to look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But something I forgot to mention in the team preview is your boy is streaming three plus days every single week over on Twitch. Look at the bottom right hand corner. G's25 on Twitch. There's your name and link is down in the description below if you guys want to catch extra content from me. Head over to there. Chat it up with me. All that good stuff. But uh, he's going to end up leading the Breloom alongside with Kingdra. And this should... There should be an easy trick and protect, right? Easy trick and protect. I'm kind of scared of that spore. 
I am scared of the spoil. Let's see what he does. I'm gonna protect my arm. I'm gonna try to set up the trick room here. Let's see what he ends up going for. He's gonna go for that bold seed. Nice little protect there. Please tell me you're doubling down. Double down to my golem, please. He's gonna focus energy. Oh. Oh! This thing is going to focus energy. Kind of scared of that. Not even gonna lie. But trick room is gonna come out here. So we could sub up if we want to. Could definitely sub up. I could freely drop EQs. But in this case, I could also psychic here. Do this and drop a rock slide on top of that. Kind of leaning towards that. I'm kind of leaning towards that. Let's do that. Let's see what he does, yo. Good protect from us. Golem is able to stay alive. We pop the trick room. I could have set up a sub here. Sub could have been a play, but I feel like he's not going to swap or even protect the Pokemon. So I think just going straight up attacking is going to be your play. So Rock Slide's going to come out here. It is stab. It's going to chip up some nice damage on the Kingdra. But more importantly, we have a flinch chance here. And Cresselia should go next and take out this Breloom. No problem with this second. Great. See ya, Breloom. Cool. So we dump on the Breloom. Give me the flinch on that Kingdra. Give me the flinch. Because this thing's focus energy up. And I'm kind of scared of it. I'm kind of scared of it. And we get the flinch. That's big time plays. That's big time plays. So we get the flinch. I could set up a sub here. Really depending on who he goes into. I could protect the Gom here as well. He's going to go into there. Okay. Uh, at this point, you know what? I'm just going to set up the sub. And I'm just going to go into here. I could actually protect it. But I'm just going to sub... I'm just going to get effort this way. So he's going to protect. Oh, baby. This is solid turn from us. He protects the Scizor. We go into a sub with our Golem, and we target down the Kingdra. A solid turn so far. Solid turn so far. Hopefully, he goes after my Crest. I'll actually love if he goes after my Crest. Because that will leave my Golem in a sub suit, and we can get thriving. So we know another Psychic actually KOs. He's going to end up surfing. Okay, that probably takes off my sub suit. But still, I'll take that turn all day. Because at this point, I just sub up again. At this point, I just sub up again and Psychic takes out the Kingdra. I'm kind of liking it. I mean, if he goes for a Bull Punch, my Golem should be able to eat up. It is physically, or in the physical defense category, is super bulky. And he kind of roll off from there. So I think I just set up another sub, and I play this one slow. I think that's my play all day. We have a Scissor in the back end. We could Intimidate, but another Psychic takes out the Kingdra, and we try to get off this sub here. Because I could see him targeting down my Crest here. Kingdra's going to protect. Okay, so that's not bad. Protect by him. Maybe he's going for x -Scissor. Let's see what he does here. Let's see what he does here. We shall see. Sucky's going to come out here. And on top of that, he's going to go for x -Scissor. So can you eat that up, Crest? You can. That's a big time eat. That's a big time eat. So we have sub set up. We have our Citrus Berry coming out here. Psychic takes out Crest all day. I think he's going to go for a Surf. I really do think he goes for Surf. Into a Protect with the Scissor. So I'm just going to drop an EQ here. And Psychic, right? Psychic EQ? Probably my play, right? Because Crest doesn't get hit by that. Crest does not get hit by that. So we have Scissor in the back end, which is really good. And we have, uh, was it Gyarados, right? I kind of like this because Trick turns are going to end rather soon. He goes for a double protect on Kingdra. Does not work. Levitate's going to come out here. And EQ's going to hit up some nice damage. Hopefully this actually takes out the uh, Kingdra. I think it should, right? Beautiful. So we get rid of the Kingdra. Golem is buzzing with the sub. He's buzzing with the sub. Psychic's going to slide over onto the Scissor. Probably not do too much damage, but it's better than nothing, you know? And then Scissor takes out my, what's it called? Scissor takes out my Crest with the X Scissor. Yeah. So Crest goes down here. Uh, how many turns left in Trick Room? It's got to be ending, right? I'm trying to think, because what moves did I use with my Golem? I Protect it one turn, I sub twice, I EQ'd, and I Rock Slide. That's the last turn in Trick Room, right? That is 100% last turn in Trick Room. So I can bring out my faster Pokemon. And yeah, Trick Room did end. So I can bring out Gyarados. I can pop a little Intimidate action. That could be good. And I can just... Oh, and he has... Again, I like where we're sitting. I like where we're sitting. I really like where we're sitting. We have Scissor just to dump on that one turn. So Intimidates can come out here. Gom should be able to get off another turn. I'm going to drop another EQ because... I have some nice flying Pokemon on the team. And that's exactly why I brought the Togekiss, the Levitate Cresselia, the Gyarados. Just Pokemon that can just dodge EQs for when Golem sends them. So it's really, really good. I'm going to Waterfall across. Actually, I'm just going to double down the Gardevoir slot, right? Because EQ should be able to finish up Scissor. Let's go. Golem's buzzing in battle number one. The substitute Golem. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. We'll EQ cross the board. We'll also Waterfall. And we'll see how this one plays out. Not a bad first battle. Yo. Getting that Trick Room out and about. And just having Golem. That's what I love. When I'm showcasing a Pokemon, I love to use it to its fullest potential in battle number one. That's exactly what we did here. He's going to go for a Ball Punch here. Substitute helps us soak that up. Taking no damage from that. And Gardevoir, unless it has, like, some crazy coverage move, 
like a water move. I don't think it's taking us out. If we do that, Gardevoir's going to go for an Energy Ball, and that might take us out. Yeah, because I was going to say, that's Golem's one weakness. Is going to be, well, Grass and Water's four times super effective, but it's Special Defense is in the trash. I'll show it to you guys real quick. I'll, I'll show it to you guys. Look at that. Special Defense 85 compared to 151 on his defense. It's just, it's special attack and special defense is just in the trash. But everything other than that, besides speed, you know, speed is slow. That's why I'm triggering it. HP, attack, and defense, this thing is gorgeous. This thing is just lovely in the stats category. But, uh, that isn't bad. That isn't bad for us. We'll bring out Scissor here, and we can pretty much just say GG. We can pretty much just say GG, because I'm going to bullet punch straight into Gardevoir. That minus one Scissor cannot take me out. And it, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. Jeans takes battle number one, and we thrive out with Golem. Golem and the Trick Room. But there it is. Battle was canceled. Let's go. Going up against one of the coolest teams I've gone up against in a while. Look at this dude's team. It is absolutely stacked with pseudo legendaries and really cool Pokemon. He's got Titar, Garchomp, Gengar, Metagross, Dragonite, and last but not least, Latios. Um, a perfect Pokemon to actually bring into this battle would be Tokus and even Weavile. Weavile can do a lot of work. So you know what? I think I might just leave both of them. Set up maybe an Icy Wind, go into a Dazzling Gleam. Something along those lines could be really, really good for us. So I'm going to bring Weavile. I am going to bring Tokus. Gyarados can obviously be really good here as well due to Intimidate because he has a lot of physical attackers. And then do I bring Scissor or do I bring Golem just to have some fun with this one? I don't know. I don't know. Gyarados definitely coming in here. But then do I bring Golem or Scissor? I mean, Scissor does have Bull Punch. Bull Punch can work nicely on a few of these Pokemon. And I kind of like that considering we just showed off Golem in battle number one. So we can showcase this squad in this battle. But Golem's just too much fun, man. He's just too much fun. Like I said, he has a lot of physical attackers, so the defensive bulk of Golem could be good. It's super effective onto the uh, onto the Dragon, I think. I think Rock's super effective, and it's super effective onto the Metagross and that Gengar. So it wouldn't be too bad. It wouldn't be too bad, but Scissor's just the man. But I feel like let's go into Golem. Let's have some fun with this one. We already won a battle for today's video. We might as well have some fun with this one. Obviously, if this was like tournament or if I had money on the line, I would definitely bring in Scissor. Scissor would be a little bit better. But Golem's definitely going to be fun. Dude, if I would have let Golem here, that would be gorgeous. That would have been gorgeous. So we're going to end up leading these two. And uh, that's, a, that's, that's a little tough. I mean, obviously, I definitely want to fake out the uh, you right here. And then I kind of just want to pop like a Gleam or something. Or maybe just Air Slash straight into you. Exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to Air Slash straight into this Pokemon. I mean, Metagross is looking a little scary with, like, the Meteor Mash, and it might be Rock and Bullet Punch, so I might just want to protect next turn with my Togekiss and drop, like, a Throat Chop and get off some big damage onto that, uh, on that Metagross. But we'll see how this one plays, because the turn should go Weavile, Gengar, and then Togekiss, Metagross. Yeah, dude, Golem would have been a beast here. Would have been teeing off here, but Fake Out's gonna poke out here. We're gonna make the Metagross flinch, and then, uh, Gengar should go next, right? Yeah, he's gonna Sludge Bomb. That's probably just taking me out, right? Okay, cool. My Tokus ate. I really do like that. So Tokus eats up there. Air Slash is going to poke through here. Give me a crit. Give me some big damage. I think that was a crit. It was not. It was not a crit. And at this point, I can just throw chop and then just protect, right? Probably my best bet. Probably my best bet because he has two threats to my Tokus. He has a poison type and a steel type. I mean, steel is super effective up against my Weavile too, so that's a little scary. So I end up protecting my Tokus. He's going to go for a bullet punch. Come across straight into you. We have Sash. Hopefully the Gengar is going after my, uh... Hopefully my Gengar, or that Gengar is going after my, uh... Going after my, uh... Tokus. That would be really nice. And it does. Okay, so now we're sitting here. I could follow me the shot. And I kind of want to. I think that's my best bet. And then we get rid of one of his Pokemon. Right, who do I have in the back end? I have Golem and I have Gyarados. Let's just say, if I don't go into follow me, he can just bullet punch my Weavile, take me out, and then Gengar outspeeds my Togekiss. So I'd rather take out one than somebody else. And I might take out the Gengar just for the speed factor. But I kind of want to get rid of uh, what's called it as well. Who do I get rid of here? I think I get rid of you, right? I don't want to deal with a bullet punch. I really don't want to deal with a bullet punch. Actually, dude, Gengar's kind of a pain, and it might be rocking a grass weed. So, you know, I'm going to get rid of Gengar. And I'm just going to follow me as Bullet Puncher. That's my play all day. That is my play all day. So, we're going to do this. We're going to see how this one plays out here. He's going to end up going for the Bullet Punch, and there it is. Yeah, so we had to follow me. We had to, we, we had to take out Tokus, because I would if I did not, he would have an easy double kill. He would have a double kill with both his Pokemon on the board. So, I'd rather get rid of one of his Pokemon and him get rid of two. Actually, no, we're fine here. 
He does not get rid of my Weavile. That actually works out decently well. Now I pose a threat with Weavile. I could go into Gyarados and set up a Dragon Dance. Which I'm kind of thinking. I'm kind of thinking set up a Dragon Dance because we know that he wants to Bullet Punch onto my Weavile. It's not too bad. That's not too bad. I do wish I had an Ice Move, but I am going to set up a Dragon Dance here. I am going to set up a Dragon Dance, and that Intimidate is going to work well because Dragon Knight is physical attacking. And then Metagross obviously has a clear body. And we kind of just go from there. But yeah, I definitely want to go into this third chop. Try to get rid of you and just set up this Dragon Dance, right? Let's go for a Dragon Dance setup. Let's do it. I'm curious if he's going to do the same thing. I think we're both going to Dragon Dance here. It would be kind of funny. He's going to go for the Bull Punch. Again, saw that come from miles away. That's fine. I'm actually glad we all got that much value out of its turns. He gets a crit. Wow. Game's broken. I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm just playing. Uh, Gyarados does outspeed normally, so that's good. So Dragon Dance is going to poke for us. We're going to set up. I wonder what Dragon Knight's going for here. Kind of curious. I'm a little curious here. Let's see what Dragon Knight's going for here. Miss an attack or something? Nope, he's going for Dragon Dance. So we had, we both had the same idea. I do wish I had Ice Fang. But I do not. I do not. Kind of hurts soul. But uh, what do I do from here? We have Golem. We have my boy Golem, and Rock Slide is super effective. So from here, I think we just Rock Slide. And... And on top of that, we just go for a Waterfall. Actually, he's going to Bullet Punch. He's going to Bullet Punch, but I kind of want to get rid of a... Uh... I don't know what I want to do. I think we just get rid of the Metagross. He is going to Bullet Punch me, but it's fine. Yeah, there's Bullet Punch. Should be able to soak pretty well here. For defensive bulk, plus we have leftovers. I do dig that. We go first. Crunch is going to come out here. We are going to get rid of the Metagross. And this battle's going to be rather close. Depending on what Dragonite does. Depending on what Dra Dragonite does. He does have multi-scale for this turn. And he's going to go for Thunder Punch. That's for GG's, right? Yeah. That is GG's. Was not expecting it to roll out with the coverage move. But solid battle from our opponent here. Solid battle from our opponent. Rock Slide is going to come out here. How much damage is that going to do? Some, that's some nice damage. That is some solid damage all around. I'm not going to count Golem out just yet. Because another Rock Slide will take out Dragonite. Because I believe it was multi-scale. So we do have leftovers. If we can out bulk shots, there's a chance. But he's probably going to bring out somebody who just legit rips him. Right? Who's he going to bring out here? Who is this Pokemon? T-Tar. Yeah, T-Tar can do some work on me. I mean, not really a little bit. I mean, I should have to get rid of this Dragonite and then pop some EQs. I could protect this turn, just get back some HP. But then he also gets back more HP. You know what? We're just going to drop a rock side. We're going to get after it. Let's do it, Golem. Let's get it, Golem. He's going to go for an Outrage. Ah, yeah, I think we just died of that, right? No, we eat. We soak. Golem's a beast. But we died of that. But we died of that. 100%. <laughs> 100%. GG's. Golem just cannot outspeed these pseudo legendaries. It would have been pretty fine if uh, Garrus was still on the board, but of course, this Dragon Age rocking the coverage move. Well, let's hop into our third and final battle. Look for that winning record. Ladies and gentlemen, I got bad news for you guys. It is the last battle for today's video. I know, I know, I know. Hold your tears back. It's sad, but just know I upload every single day. So if you guys want to catch more content from me, make sure you hit that subscribe button and stay up to date with all my content. But uh, we're going up against a pretty cool team. He's got Latias alongside Magnuson. Then he's got Tentacruel, Hitmon top for Fake Out, and then he's got Weavile and what is that Pokemon? A little Sableye over there. So he can do a good bit. I feel like Trick Room is definitely the goal here. I think so. We got to get out Cresselia. Cresselia is our only Trick Room Pokemon. But do I lead it with Weavile? Or do I lead it with a Pokemon like Golem and just protect again and try to pop that trick in like that? That could work well. That could definitely work well. And I'm kind of leaning towards it, but I do feel like him on top is going to get the lead. So I kind of want to go in with like a Pokemon like Weavile. Or I can go in with Togi. Togi's not too bad. Considering if he goes in with him on top, we can kind of just roll out from there. And we can hit. Yeah, I'm going to go in with Togi. So I'm going to go in with Togi, bring Golem in the back end, and then Scissor as my final Pokemon. I'm liking that a lot. Or I can go Gyarados, but. No, the reason I'm going to go Tokus is because if he goes him on top, Intimidate will not affect it. And then I can kind of just go for Trick Room and then go for an Air Slash. We have options here, people. We have options. But I always forget, does Follow Me come out before Fake Out? Does Follow Me come out before Fake Out? I always forget that. I always forget that. But I'm going to go Crest. And I think I'm just going to go for the Trick Room straight up. I think I'm just going to straight up go for the Trick Room here. I really do feel like that's a play. And gleam, right? Trick room and gleam. 
Like, Gleam is super effective on both these guys. Tokus can do some work, especially if he gets off some crits. But he's gonna go for the fake out into Tokus. Cool. That's fine. What are you going for, Latias? He's gonna go for Combine. That's not a bad play. That's not a bad play. So, Trick Room is gonna come out here. Um, again, that's not a bad play. I could double down to that Latias, which I think is gonna have to be my play. With Gleam's and... Gleam's and Ice Beams. I, I could Combine myself if I really want to. But I just feel like my play is just try to get rid of this Pokemon right here. Right? Yeah. That's what that's gotta be my play. Try to get rid of that Pokemon. He's all bulked up. He's ready to go. And he's gonna end up going for a wide. Good thing uh we are going for a gleam. I was gonna say good thing we're not going for a gleam, but we are going for a gleam. That's a smart little play. Ice beam is still gonna fly here. Chip up some nice damage and hopefully get a freeze. Actually did like no damage. Give me a freeze. Oh we get a freeze. I love this game. I like this game a lot. And of course this thing's lumberried. I think Lumberry to freeze. It's impressive. It's impressive. Gleam is going to get wide guarded. And I wonder what he's going to roll out to from here. I would love to get uh, get my Golem out here. Golem could get some work done. Let's see what he goes for. And end up go. Oh, no, dude. We need Golem. We need Golem. <laughs> we need Golem. <laughs> we need someone out here to do some work on that. Or even my scissor. So I'm just going to air slash into uh, what's it called. I'm going to double down into what's it called. Actually, I could calm mine here. I'm going to calm mine here. And I'm just going to air slash into him on top. Can you take out one of my Pokemon? Like my Tokus? Take out somebody. I don't want this trick him to get a waste because I would love for Gollum to get like two turns out here. He's going to Witch all. No, not him on top. These guys doing me so dirty. Who's he going to go into from here? Mag. Oh my god. We're getting, we're getting ran here. Combine's coming out here. If, is he going to Combine again? Is he going to Combine again? Because I would love to swap to my Scissor here. Mm, yo, this dude's doing some good plays. Don't you dare Combine again. We're gonna go for an air slash here. It's pretty much gonna do like no damage. I mean, if I get a crit with my gleam, that could be beautiful. But he's gonna calm mine again, isn't he? He's gonna recover. Okay. I might swap my crest here. I mean, no, we're plus two. Or we're plus one. I mean, we might as well just go into maybe like a, a nice beam. I don't know what I do. I think I'm, call, I'm gonna calm mine again. I'm just gonna look to grab these crits, man. I'm gonna look to grab these crits on this Latias. Crit can just pretty much KO it. We have scope ones and we have super lock. Well, I'm due for crit. Flash can's coming out here. I think you could soak that up, Togi. No, never mind. You stink. <laughs> never mind. You get dumped on. That's fine. Um, I think we just go into scissor at this point. I calm mind up again. I'm kind of with that. And with that bulk, we can pretty much set up another tricker later in the match. So I think we just go scissor here. We try to pop some X scissors and get rid of this thing because this thing is going to be annoying. So, I mean, yeah, if Scissor can get rid of that, that can really be good for us. We could swap and hit him on top, but I still feel like we do some big time damage with Scissor. I still feel as that, that 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 could be a play. I'm going to Combine again. I ain't playing around. But Scissor's a threat. So, yeah, I could Sword Hands, but we're going straight into this next Scissor. We're going straight into this next Scissor. That's my play all day. He's going to end up with Draw and Magazine. I'm cool with that gonna go into him on top it's gonna intimidate me now what's gonna swords dance i was gonna swords dance but i'm hoping that thing ain't protecting this is this, <laughs> this battle is kind of annoying <laughs> it's kind of annoying but it's cool at the same time intimidates can come out here x scissor can you do some big time damage here big time damage get a crit just take it out oh so close he's gonna recover isn't he is he recovering i think he might i mean i'm combining again you, you want to play games with me that's silly fine that is totally fine. Now he knows how it feels. Now he knows how it feels. Is he recovering or not? He's going to recover. That's fine. Uh, you can fake out my scissor. I'm probably just going to psychic down into him on top, take him out. I'm just going to X scissor cross onto that board. The trick room's gone. I'm kind of cool with that. I'm still going to psychic here. I could protect. I could definitely protect. Which I think I'm going to do. Or do I just stick with an S X scissor? I think I'm just protect here. Try to get rid of him on top. He which all him on top. How dare you, dude? This dude's just outplaying us. This dude is just outplaying us. We should pop the trick room. We should have popped the trick room again. Would have been a play. We can go for a reflect type. What does that do? What does that do? Okay, so now the, the typing's the same. So he's not electric anymore. That's pretty cool. But we're nice and bulked up pretty well here. Uh, at this point, let's just pop the trick room. I feel like at this point, we can also swap. 
We could also swap and save the scissor. But the problem here is, dude, we have to get off this X scissor. Oh no, he's same type. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. He's same typing as that? That means EQ should be. He has levity. Oh my god. We have a problem. We have a problem. <laughs> we have a problem. I thought it gave Magnuson the same typing. No, it gave Latias the same typing. Power moves. Power moves coming out here. Oh my god, dude. I'll give a round of applause for opponent. Round of applause for opponent. I mean, we're going to have to look for some flinches. We're going to get off trick from here. I'm going to just start calm mind boosting. Problems, problems, problems. He goes for Thunderbolt. Nice. Doesn't affect Gom, And we get off the trick room. So I could set up a sub if I really want to. I mean, I could. I can get rid of Magazine. I could get rid of Magazine. Did I just revert trick room? Or trick room ended, right? I don't know. Did I just revert trick room? I guess we'll see here. I think trick room ended. I think he, I think he already did that. I'm gonna calm mine again, <laughs> and I'm just gonna go for a CQ. I'm just gonna send it across the board. He's gonna end up withdrawing him. He is gonna go for an intimidate. Cool, cool, cool. I have to get rid of this thing. I have to get rid of this guy. Kind of annoying me. <laughs> intimidate coming in hot. I could have set up a sub. A sub wouldn't have been bad. I cannot stand this intimidate. EQ's gonna come out. So trick room is in our favor. Levitate. Wow, dude. This thing is really strong. That what's called super strong. That Latias is super strong right now. I mean, I feel like I just, I mean, we just gotta keep combining and getting after that thing. Cover coming out of here. Oh my lord. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I mean, at this point, we just gotta psychic into that thing and uh, kind of get after that right? I think this Latias is just gonna sweep us. Seems pretty good. I'm gonna Psychic here. And I could just Rock Slide across the board. EQ would probably be a little bit better, but I can go for some flinches, so. I'll go for Rock Slide. I'm gonna go for the Fake Out on the Who. Look at my crest, how dare you. Give me some flinches, Gollum. Give me some flinches. Give me some flinches, Gollum. Do them dirty. Give me some flinches. Crest flinches and. Mm. <laughs> I hate this game. <laughs> I needed my toga kiss, man. I needed my toga kiss. He's gonna swap. He's gonna swap, and I'm gonna swap. He wants to play games like that. I'm still gonna suck again to that. And I'm gonna swap into Skizzy. I'm swapping into Skizzy. God dang, yo, this Latias is going crazy. This Latias is going crazy. I don't know how we're gonna have to beat this. Crits? We have no moves that are effective onto it right ice no psychic no bug no steel no all wilds can come out here another intimidate you what <laughs> this is wild this is wild this is wild i'll give my opponent a round of applause here psychic coming in hot here chip up some damage on you big time damage i love you i love you that's some big time damage calm my coming back out here <laughs> i can't do it i can't do it can't do it. Um, only way we win this battle, I'm not even gonna lie, is uh, if we Swords Dance up. I'm gonna Psychic down in this slot. I'm gonna start Swords Dancing up. I might swap back into him on top, but if he does, he does. He's gonna go Fire Fang. Okay, never mind. This thing's ripping with Fire Fang. Cool. I love this game. I love it. <laughs> I love it. I'm loving it. But cool, we don't get swept. Psychic coming out here. Big plus for jeans there. We don't get swept. That Latias, we cannot do anything up against. My only hope was to sword dance and just start maxing out attack and trying to get after it. But this thing's going to store power us now, and now we're dead. Oh, no, we're not. We somehow soaked that up really well. No more trick room. Uh, we could protect Gollum and pop another trick room. But in this case, I'm just going to pop an EQ because you going to hit my top 100%. You're going to fake out my crest, right? You're going to fake out my crest. There's like a 6,000% chance that happened. He's going to figure out my crest. I could set up a sub. But I think it's going to be my play. While he picks out my crest. And we'll go for the sub. And if he does pick out my crest, then we just take out his him on top. So he picks out my crest. Yeah. 
He's gonna go for another store power. He thinks I was protecting, I think. He's just teeing off damage on us. We do have Citrus Berry. And we're gonna sub up with Gom, which isn't really gonna do, do too much, right? Hurts the soul. Hurts the soul. This one hurts the soul. I don't know how we can actually win this battle. I don't know. I really don't know. Seems leftovers? Wow. It's Lottie? Isn't Latios leftovers? No, it was uh, Lumberried. Froze it early on. That could have been a big turn if it wasn't Lumberried. If it wasn't Lumberry, that could have been a big turn. But we're gonna end up popping the Trick Room. Let's do it. I think he's gonna go back into Magna Zone, so I could EQ here. Wow, what a battle, what a battle. He's gonna go for, he's just gonna go straight after my my girl, Cress. Cress should be able to eat up whatever they have to offer. Right? Close combat coming hot. Cool. We sub that. We sub that. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. We sub that. And we get the trick room back here. And this thing's dropping stats. It's defense drop. Oh, that was from the... That, that's weird that came out after the sub suit fell. So Levitate's coming out here from the boys. He's dropping defense. Ken, how much damage are we doing this thing? Another EQ KOs. That's big. That's big. Another EQ KOs. So trick room's back out and about. I just think this Latias is just too much for us to handle, right? This Latias is just too much for us to handle. Another EQ kills. Um, what do I do here? What would be better? Maybe going for a freeze or would Psychic be a little bit better? And I think I calm mind again. I just EQ across this board. Because if he swaps him on top... He swaps him on top. Magazine is going to take a chunk of damage. He's going to wipe. Oh mm, my god. Hate you. My guard stinks. My guard stinks. So he's going to do that. Is he going to store power in the crest again? I am curious. So no moves are going to come out here. Calm Mind is going to come out here for us. I'm trying to think of ways we can potentially win this. It's a long battle. This is a long drawn out battle. I wish Crest had leftovers at this point now. Sword power coming out here. We're going after my gong. Well, <laughs> well, that's it. That is it. <laughs> that is it. I was hoping he would just keep going after my crest. But yeah, it's pretty much GG's. Our opponent just stacked up that Latias and won themselves a battle. We go one and two for today's video. Get the show off gong, which is really, really cool. One and two for today's video, not too shabby. We definitely probably could have grabbed ourselves a win there in battle number two, but battle number three was just, it was just great plays by our opponent. That Latias set up like crazy, and then when he reflect typed, that's really what solidified him that match. He reflect typed into that magazine zone, changing its typing to, what is it, steel and electric, and then all of my moves were not very effective, and on top of that, he had levitate, so I couldn't even EQ him. That was pretty cool. I did like that combo. But, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.